Good day there viewers, my name is Cliff and welcome to my channel called Vintage Time. As you can see we have Jaws featured in this episode and for those of you who don't know Jaws is a regular feature on my channel and Jaws seems very excited because I told him we're going to be talking about loops. No Jaws, I'm talking about jewellery loops, not fruit loops. Now what we'll be talking about is optical magnification for gemstones. We need something with a little bit more magnification Jaws. You're getting closer Jaws, Optivisors are great but we need something with more magnification. So this is the jeweler's loop and poor old Jaws just didn't know but it's an essential part of any gem cutters kit and any jeweler's kit. Although this is not a video about cutting gems I feel that a lot of my subscribers will get a lot of benefit out of knowing what a quality loop is and some of the pitfalls with buying poor quality loops. So one of the questions I'm often asked about in the comments section is what type of loop do you use because people always see my loop sitting right next to my fastening machine. Having used several other loops in the past my favourite loop is the Bellamo loop which is made in Belarus and it's a 10 times triplet loop. In point of fact I was that impressed with the quality of the Bellamo loop using it for nearly three years while cutting gems day in and day out I decided that I would contact Bellamo to let them know how good their loops are and Bellamo were kind and gracious enough to send me two loops free of charge the 15 and the 20 times and asked me whether I could do a bit of a test on both these loops and review them as I only had my 10 times loop. I must say that I'm not paid by Balamo in any way, they're not endorsing me, they just simply asked whether I could make a video and test out these loops and I'm happy to do that. However, I will drop in a link of their website in the description area. So let's talk first about why the triplet 10 times loop is the most commonly used loop amongst faceters, people within the gem industry or jewelers. Firstly, the triplet, as said, it has three lenses. It has two outer concave lenses and one central convex lens, which are all glued together. And not only do you get a much sharper and crisper view of the image compared to a doublet, which has two lenses, or the more commonly cheap singlets, but you also get a better view of the colour, you get a more natural view of the colour which you don't get with certainly the cheaper loops or with the doublets. So we're going to start off with looking at this particular gem I faceted recently with my Bellamo 10 times triplet loop. So bear in mind that looking through a camera lens with a loop is no replacement for the human eye. But one of the first things you do notice is that you have a full field of view with a 10 times triplet loop. One of the advantages with the 10 times triplet loop, you can actually look through both sides of the lens. You're not restricted to looking through one part of the loop and you get to see very clear meet points. Also, the 10 times loop is world recognized as the fastening judge's loop to judge stones with. So we're going to take a look at the 15 times Balamo loop and like the 10 times it also has that triplet lens. And one thing that's obvious and noticeable is that the lens size looks a lot smaller than the 10 times. So we'll just compare that. And yes, the case looks a similar size, but definitely the lens is a lot smaller in the 15 times, which would suggest that the field of view will be limited also. So we're going to use the 15 times Bellamo loop on the same gem as we use the 10 times on. And as you can see already that the field of view is less but the magnification is somewhat greater and that is through a camera lens. 
So with the 15 times, you're really cranking it up another level with magnification. Clearly the facets are a lot bigger. You can actually see where the meat points are. So if there are any defects in a gem, you are not going to miss it with the 15 times. It's not as practical as the 10 times because it's a little bit harder to focus in and it's a little bit close up on your eye. So we're going to test out the 20 times Balamo loop on the left and the size is exactly the same with the case. The lens sizes look very similar too. So as we match them up, there seems to be no difference apart from the obvious, which is that the 20 times should be slightly more powerful. But once again, it should have less field of view than the 15 times. So let's see how we go. So with the 20 times, I had to take the gem out of the holder and place it flat. Just couldn't get a clean focus with it. The 20 times is designed more for flat items like stamps or coins. You do need a lot of light behind these lenses and also when you're holding these loops they are virtually touching your eyes. So you can actually feel it on your eyelashes, that's how close you need to get your eye into the field of view. And the field of view is a lot smaller than the 15 times and the 10 times loop. So I probably wouldn't recommend this loop for gems unless you want to look at a $20,000 diamond and make sure it's got no chips in it. So let me tell you about some of the pitfalls I found with buying these cheap loops. This is typical of a cheap loop made in China and you can buy these anywhere probably from $10 Australian to $20. They usually have a magnification rating of 25 times, but believe me, it is way less than that. These loops are all singlet loops, so they just have a singlet lens. They're usually made out of plastic, and it's just a basic magnifier, so you may as well buy a small magnifying glass. When you're a gem cutter, you're dealing with water, which means water can spray onto a loop. With these cheap loops, they're not waterproof. If you get a drop of water on the lens, it can seep into the interior and you can't get it out. I tried opening this loop and couldn't open it. The batteries last about, I don't know, a couple of weeks if you use them regularly and the lenses are plastic. So when it comes to lenses, they do get dirty and grimy with fingerprints and just general dirt. I've always used methylated spirits my whole life for cleaning lenses and glass and that's the same as denatured alcohol. So I did use that on the plastic lens and it actually clouded the lens in one spot which made the lens totally useless for looking at gemstones. So these were some of the bad attributes that had nothing to do with viewing through it. Once you viewed through it, it would concave the actual gem you were looking at. So these cheap loops are just a big waste of money. So in conclusion, I would like to talk about why I purchased the Bellamo 10 times loop. And the reason why is that I read so many times in Australian gem cutting forums about this loop. One of the most common questions that people would ask is, what type of loop should I buy? And it was always Bellamo coming up time and time again as the preferred loop. As I mentioned earlier, this particular loop has been in constant use for nearly three years. I've belted it around. It's had many hits on my fastening machine. I haven't broken the lens. The paint hasn't chipped off. And for me, that's quite remarkable. In this day and age, you use something for three years solid and it's still going strong. Also, always buy a loop that has black framing around it because black eliminates any reflections. If I had any little complaint or gripe about this loop, and that would apply to any other loop, is that sometimes as a gem cutter, you just wish there was a special finger mount that these loops would just be permanently on the non-preferred faceting hand. So you can continually look with the loop up against the gem to check out meat points because some of these cases don't fit very well around your fingers. So in closing, I would like to thank all my subscribers for taking the time to watch my videos and supporting my channel. I would also like to thank the company Bellamo for giving me the opportunity to have a look at the 15 times and the 20 times loop. 
I think the 15 times loop is an excellent loop for people who are seriously into gems and you want to see the really intricate details. Also thank you to Jaws and it's bye for me. Take care everybody.